how's it going? Electron Man, hope everybody had a great Christmas. Well, I got kind of a cool one today. Uh, Santa uh, brought me a little present in the middle of the night that I'm going to share with you today. Been wanting one, kind of handed around it, and uh, I guess he heard me, right? Or maybe it was a her. But anyway, let's do a little box opening and show you what I got here. I'm pretty excited. Been wanting one, dropped a bunch of hints on it, but anyway, uh, with no further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at her. So I can get the camera over here and open her up. Got any guesses on what it is? Hmm, what is this? Hmm. I don't know. I have to just get, open it up and see what it is. Yeah, we got a little manual here. Got a little operating instructions here. Phone cover out of here. And let's get her out. Oh, yeah. Check it out, guys. Yes, it's a desolder and solder station. Yes, I've got a dozen irons. And yes, I have a desolder. I have an old Pace desolder station with the foot pedal. But it's it's 40, 30 years old. And um, it's really more for industrial type work. And uh, I mean, it works, but it takes forever to heat up. And uh, it's very big and cumbersome. And I wanted something for my bench here. And uh, they made a lot of headway. And especially for the price range, you can get these little smaller desolder stations. And, I think uh, I think she'll do a really good job, and uh, I mean, so much more portable. And you know, the other one I can't even get tips for it anymore, or they're real hard to come by. So I've been wanting one of these real bad, and and uh, price range has gotten down. I think this is only like about 120 or 30 dollars. I say only, but but a very reasonable for a, for a desolder station, for a vacuum desolder station. Go ahead and pull that. Ah, I love pulling that stuff off. But anyway, there's what she looks like. We'll go ahead and get her uh, set down here. Let's get the accessories out. We've got, we've got a nice tip feels like here. Um, standard removal type. Just unscrew it. Just like my welder, actually. That's exactly the same way my welder does tips. So, I mean, I don't know that it's up to welder quality, but it looks like it's got a pretty long cord on it. Get that unwrapped. And it's not nice silicone cord here. Actually, let me get her down here a little bit more so you can kind of. I do the best I can on these videos, guys. Sometimes it's kind of hard to show everything. But anyway, there's that. And uh, there's your main power cord. And here's the guy that I really want. And man, it is so much more portable. It's got the filter in it, got the screen in it. It's got multiple tips, I believe, that you can change on it. But look at it. Man, I love the size of this thing. It's so portable. I love the foot. The foot pedal's okay. If I think you were doing production, but for me, it's always a hassle. I'm always like hunting for the foot feed when I need it. Um, I just, I like the trigger and I like the little gun like this. I'm shocked how nice and slim line and portable that is. But anyway, that's the gun. We got the stand here, which is kind of unique. I kind of like the way they set that up when I was looking at them. That uh, the stand is, is a dual stand, so you, you put the gun. I think maybe you put the gun. I have to look at the instruction book on that, but basically, the, it'll hold the iron. No, the iron is definitely going to go in here. I guess I have to look at a picture. But Anyway, the iron's going to go in there, and I believe the gun, the solder gun, that's right. And yeah, straight up now like that. I like that idea. So you have both of them real. Yeah, that's decent. And I'm guessing that, yeah, that little button on the back side of this releases that so you can take your cylinder out and clean it of course obviously I don't need to do that yet but I hear this seats up in like two or three minutes too that's one of the big sell points on that comes with a bunch of extra screens and filters I don't know what that springs for I guess what is it oh that's to clean the tip just got to yeah let me go ahead and open this up and kind of show you what comes in this accessory pack it looks like we got a tip cleaner for the uh, solder gun even got some other ones for cleaning. 
There's your filters. New set of rubber gaskets if you need them. Extra uh, solder catchers, I call them, the little springy things. Pretty decent little accessory pack. Even comes with an extra tube. And an extra uh, screw on for the front of the dilly. Really accessory pack this up nice. I'll put this all back in here for right now. Probably put that all in one of my little drawers and mark it for just the solder station. But anyway, nice little accessory pack there. Let's see what else we got here. I have to read on what that is. I have no idea what that is. Just have to read that. And ah, look at this. We've got That's definitely a solder tube. No, that's not a solder tube. That's a desolder. Oh, that's a little bitty one. And even littler. And uh, let's have some fun with it now and see what we got all here. I need to probably read the instructions a little bit, but get this moved over to the side. I'll move the camera around front here. I'm going to go ahead and hook this all up, and I'll be back with the camera towards the front. Probably get a little circuit board, and we'll do a little, uh, we'll see how it works too. So let me go ahead and get this rest of the setup I want to do the box up and then we'll do a little review and see how she works okay guys I got her all set up in fact I even I got this stuff I put in the bottom of my toolboxes and I put it on top so to keep it from sliding around and by the way I'm glad they made the handle it had a little top handle on it well just two screws and I took the top handle up because I actually want to put the stand on top of it um, I don't know if that's I don't see how that can hurt anything it doesn't have any ventilation on the top anyway and uh, it definitely this makes it more convenient for me and keeps things out of the way. As you can see, foot pit rise. This is my old when I was using it as a weller, just the soldering iron. Now I have both, and it doesn't take up much more space than the original did. I didn't have to move anything around. I just pulled that one out. The old weller here is a great iron. I'm not getting rid of it by any means. I'll probably put it way back there in that corner, so I have both. But uh, this has definitely got a smaller tip for more intricate, and that's a little bit bigger tip. And uh, so far, the only downside I have all the extra stuff they sent four extra tips for the desoldering different size ones, but uh, they only have the one soldering tip that came on the soldering iron. I'm gonna have to go out and see if I'm gonna have to order some other ones because that one's kind of a uh, I've already tinned it, but it's kind of a it's it's a good I mean it's a good universal, but I'd like to get a couple one a little smaller maybe a concave one and etc. But from what I can tell with WEP uh, soldering stations, there's a lot of accessories you can get for but i'm really pleased with the accessory pack as far as all the extra filters and everything else they put with it the cleaning sc springs uh, i mean it's pretty full i'm just surprised they didn't throw some irons in there but anyway let's go ahead and and get down to the the brass tacks of whether we uh like how it works or not which by the way you can turn both on it turns on the soldering iron and uh you can go fahrenheit or, or celsius and that turns on the uh the solder station uh, really impressed with how fast the solder, the solder or the uh, soldering iron heats up. I mean, man, that thing goes like, pew. and uh, looks like the uh, solder station heats up pretty fast too. We'll go ahead and let it get heated up. We're gonna go ahead and time it here, and, and uh, I'm not gonna make y'all wait, but uh, basically, we'll see how long it takes to. It'll it'll uh, it'll give you that little air right there until the soldering iron is up to heat, which. They say about 800 degrees, which kind of surprised me, or uh, was it about 380 Celsius, something like that. Hotter than I thought, but that's according to instructions about what it should run. So as you can see, it's heating right now. I'm just chattering away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move the camera back up here, and I got me a little uh, test sample here. We're going to do a little soldering and desoldering and just see how she performs. If I'll be able to zoom in that pretty good. You should have pretty good light there. And it gives you a chime whenever it's ready. So it's ready. So I would say less than two minutes. So much better than that paste. I literally have to go get a cup of coffee and wait for that old paste to heat up. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, give her a first test drive here. I'm going to pull the solder iron out here and say, uh, I'm trying to see if I can get it. This is more about letting you guys see how she functions. Uh, let's just pick one right here. Nice on that. 
Oh yeah. I don't know if you're seeing these or not. It's doing a really nice job. Fast. I'm just kind of randomly picking. Hopefully you're seeing that. Looks very clean. I don't know what I just unsoldered. As I was saying, I was just kind of trying to give you an example. I'm afraid, to see, I'm, I'm right-handed and I'm trying to do this left-handed, but hopefully you can zoom down on that and see it. I mean, it's doing a really nice job and you could even temper up a little bit more here. So that you could probably use just a tad bit more. Maybe about 450 Celsius. Uh, let's see here. Pick that one right there. Which I don't know if you ever use them, but you just want to go over the component and then... I mean, it is definitely pulling all that solder out. I mean, that is doing a nice job. Kind of see where, where I pull the solder out of those three right there. I did a really good job. It didn't leave any behind. It doesn't look like it tried to lift the traces at all. I'm going to love this. It's so quiet, too. My other one was real noisy. How does it do on the surface? Wow, that's an audio chip that I just unsoldered. Look how nice of a job that did. We can see that. Totally impressed. Man, I'm. <laughs> this is going to get some use. If you're recapping, having that to recap is almost a have to. I'm using the old plunger type, especially if you're doing, you know, a recap where you're doing a whole bunch of them. That's going to make life so much gooder gooder <laughs> this is gonna make my so much better let's go ahead and give the soldering iron a little uh, test drive here see how it does we'll go ahead and solder this guy back in here see how we uh... nice I like it would like a little bit smaller tip that's pretty tight right there but uh seems like the temperature's consistent it heats up super fast and there's my solder joints there I unsoldered and resoldered that audio chip tell you what guys for for the money I don't think you can go wrong we'll have to see on the longevity WEP equipment too I like because of the fact of it's kind of a name brand and uh, you can definitely get accessory tips accessory uh parts for them pretty easy and they seem to have a pretty good name from what i can tell i do like too as well that you can you can independently turn off the soldering iron and the which i'm just going to kind of keep the cord stashed aside i i mean it just it doesn't take up a lot of footprint but so you can independently turn off turn them both off I can just turn on the, the soldering station. I have them both running. You can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And there's also a menu, I believe it says, uh, if you hold this down. Yeah. And I'd have to go through there and read what the manuals is on L01 and 2, but I think then you can, that's the bell. That lets you know whenever it's ready. I like the little beep to let you know. Not sure what that is. I guess it's, I have to find out what this one is. What L10 and L10 is. That's the warning bell, I know that. And it looks like that's about it. it just got those two functions there that I know of. Guys, if you're uh, in the market for one, I would definitely, uh, I'll provide a link for this. Obviously this was a Christmas gift. It wasn't like I was giving it to do a review on, but so far I'm really impressed with it. Obviously it has a main on off switch on it. 
I like the idea that I could take the handle off because that made a nice little place to keep my uh, my iron and stuff so it doesn't take up all my table space here. As you can tell, I'm kind of limited on that anyway. So, like I said, it really doesn't take up any more room in the weller. And, uh, heck, I'll take you out here and show you what I was working with and see why I wanted to go ahead and move to this. That and I'm doing a lot more work on this bench now than I used to. Just because it's heated and cooled in here and that's a little more comfortable there. But, but yeah, there's there's my old station. Needless to say, it's got a huge footprint. Nothing, I'm not going to discredit a pace. That's a very nice iron. And uh, it, it is also dual. It has irons. But, but getting those tips, as you can see, that's even kind of not right tip right there. But... But getting filters and parts for this is getting down to almost nothing. And uh, I actually like the trigger better than I like the foot feed. Like I said, I'm sitting here on my, my bar stool and uh, it's kind of, I end up fumbling around trying to find it. And that, and it's almost got a little much, too much suction for that more delicate stuff. It, it has a tendency to lift traces. So, not that I'm going to get rid of that, but uh, I like having the little portable one that I just got. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, I wanted to kind of get this on my bench. Obviously, I uh, was excited to get it here. I can definitely see it's going to be a handy item to have on the on the bench. Um, if you're doing any recaps or anything, you really need a good desolder station. From what I can tell so far, I'm very impressed with the construction. Uh, did a demonstration here, as you can see. I lifted all those and resoldered that whole audio chip, and it did a beautiful job. So, I mean, at the price point, how can you go wrong? Um, I did get it on sale, but... You know, even if it's 130 or 40, I mean, I think you're getting a lot for the price. I mean, I imagine that pace out there was over a thousand dollars back in the day. So, yes, that's more of a production, and this is more of a, I would say, a hobbyist. But, uh, you know, for what I do, I think it's going to be perfect. Anyway, I have rambled on too much. I'll probably edit some of this out. But anyway, guys, hopefully, uh, this kind of gives you an idea on the WEP 948 version three, and. Uh, if you're looking for a desoldering station, I would definitely check this one out. So far, I'm totally uh, impressed with it. Um, lots of versatility. Um, got a nice stand with it. Came with a nice accessory pack. Probably the only only uh, little knock I'd give on it is I wish they had included more uh, different types of soldering tips. They did a real good job on the desoldering side of it with four different size tips. But uh, they just gave me one soldering iron tip. But I'll go out there and I, I looked. I've already. I know they're pretty cheap to pick up, so I'll just pick up what I need there. They're consumable anyway, so you're gonna have to replace them. But you know, over time they're gonna wear out, so it doesn't hurt to have some spares around. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, have a happy new year. I probably uh, won't have a new video till after the new year. This will be the last video for the year. So everyone out there, I hope you had a great Christmas, happy new year, and uh, we'll see you next year. And as always, have a great day. This is the Electron Man.